Hi everybody, Jeff from Alternative Heating and Supplies. I want to do a quick video to let everybody know that uh, even though I know a lot about these stoves, these problems happen to me too. I got all my unit prepared, did all the fire rope, boiler treatment, got everything done, put a new door on after 20 years, and uh, get ready to light it for the first time of the season, and I get a P1. Simple solution to that, I was able to go get my AQ305 from my office, I'm gonna put this in and I'll be up and running in just a few minutes. But to let everybody know, I go through the same BS as everybody else. Happy heating, we'll talk to you all soon. Thank you for all your business. Hey guys, I'm just gonna update you. It wasn't as easy as replacing an AQ305. Like the rest of us who deal with this stuff, um, it's always a project. So what happened to me is I had mice. And if you look closely, you can see the mouse droppings and they chew through my wire. So I had to take off my corners and my side of my Woodmaster 55, that's what I use. Um, and I have to chase the wire all the way through because the wire was chewed all the way back to here. Now, a couple things that I'm gonna do this time and I work hard to try to keep the mice out of my unit is I use poison. And I also gonna try uh, Irish Spring soap. I've uh, heard some things on the internet that it's really, really good. So I'm gonna order some Irish Spring soap, keep the side off for a couple days while I'm running it. It shouldn't hurt anything. And I'm going to slice pieces of soap and put them in the unit. And hopefully that will deter them from getting back in. I've gone almost 20 years without having mice in my unit. And I finally got them. So uh, it's warm and it's dry. So the mice are going okay, to want to get back in with here. The so to save you. Um, sure as hell, it was the wire. Um, and it came, I, you can see it here where I spliced it back to right here. Um, I don't know if you're getting this. And I just did this temporarily to show you. I just spliced it in. Uh, I will clean it up and wire it properly and run it properly. But as you can see from my gauge now, it is reading uh, the temperature of one or 56 degrees. That's the temperature right now, the water. Just for a little tidbit too, the, uh, the probe that goes into the drywall in the back of the unit was frozen in. Uh, the wires literally popped off when I was trying to pull it out. Uh, what I did was simply, um, I tell my customers, is there's two things you can do. One, drill it out. But uh, I found another trick. It was real nice to find a nice small screwdriver and kind of spin it. And it started spinning inside and then needle nose pair of pliers came right out. So that's another very simple solution. All right, we're back. This video is not over. It gets more and more interesting. As you know, there was mice and uh, replaced the wire. Everything was working good. I went to put it all back together and uh, the fans automatically turned on for some reason. Uh, checked and re checked the control panel. Um, couldn't figure it out, was trying to move some wires, wires around and I heard a pop and something shorted. So this is kind of what happened. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you what's happened. And this is, I've heard this before. I have never had this problem personally. Uh, as I said, it's the first time in 20 years, but the mice come in and they eat the, uh, the plastic and all these are wires to the pumps, to the fans and all that. So what had happened is the wires actually touched each other and turn on the fans without the control panel. So what I'm gonna do is just obviously pull them out, cut them, uh, re-splice them in, um, and put them in right, uh, and that's it. So hopefully this is the last part of this fix, but if not, I will be back. Thanks guys, just wanted to show you that uh, this is common problems and uh, with any outdoor wood boiler, it doesn't have to be, uh, in this case, the Woodmaster 55. It's lasted me 20 years and still scoring strong. Um, but these are the things that we deal with on a common basis. Mm -hmm.